everybody, it's Mayan Shaw with RV Max, and today we have an absolute blast from the past. This is a 1990 Prevo Liberty Coach XL40. So it's got the legendary Detroit 8V92 in the back of it. That is an absolute powerhouse. Now these coaches hold up extremely well, um, but then at the end of the day, this is a 34 year old bus. 10 years older than I am, it's crazy. What makes this bus stand out is the mountain of service records that we have on it. The way it was maintained and taken care of, it was treated like a member of the family. And it's quite impressive to see all of the things that have been done and also just the condition that it's in from observing it and interacting with it on your own. And it's got an additional horn up top. So we're gonna see more of that when we get inside of the coach, but it's actually got two different sets of air horns on it. One of them that was just operated by my mom is operated by pulling a rope. But anyways, let's get right into it. This thing is absolutely magnificent. And if you're a bus enthusiast, I already know you've probably got goosebumps like I do right now. So first of all, the paint was completely redone. So it looks outstanding. And I am definitely going to try to highlight some of the important things that were done, but by no means do I have the mountain of service records uh, memorized by heart. Anyway, so up front, we've got a very clean looking face, minimal flaws, big classic stainless steel bumper here. Shut that tank door, it's like a bank vault. Um, and it looks fantastic. We've also got this custom piece that kind of differentiates it from other Prevo XL40s. There is a little crack here in the window and a little chip over there. Thankfully though, these windows aren't that expensive being the smaller Prevo windows and they're very easy to source. Now the windshield wipers um, have been replaced. So they were previously, I think, air operated windshield wipers and now they are electric motor operated. So now that is one little thing. These mirrors were also replaced. So these are fresh looking mirrors. They're not peeling or corroded. They look fantastic. And I always laugh about how these chrome mirrors get lost in the array of chrome and stainless on these buses, but you've got to have nice chrome mirrors on a bus like this. Forehead is in excellent shape paint wise and all down the side. So even back in 1990, this has the classic Liberty coat, very bright, side light that go down the bus and they've all been changed out to LEDs. So very bright. These have also been changed too. The side marker lights have been upgraded. There are 2017 date code tires on the coach. The bus was kept in a garage. So they're fresh looking, great tires on the bus. All right, so now I've just uh, changed, you know, real quick, casually in the middle of the video for absolutely no reason. It's definitely the exact same time that we recorded the first clip, definitely. Okay. So the bay's back here. We've got a full pass-through storage compartment right here. And I can lock this up so it'll hold itself out of the way, but I'm gonna leave it like that. So full pass-through, look how clean that carpet is. There are also um, all kinds of extra parts in here. So we've got extra filters, we've got solenoids, we've got generator filters, we've got extra belts, everything you would need um, in the coach. It's already prepped and already ready to go. This stuff is really nice to have already on board because it's not only the money, it's the time it takes to source that stuff. I'm gonna close this very satisfying XL bus door. Ah. Okay, so the next compartment here, we've got more storage. Again, pretty dang clean carpeting and the cabinet work looks pretty good too. Look at how deep these drawers are. Very high quality feel to them. They're carpeted. The carpeting is clean. There's a third drawer over there. Um, we've got a little bit of extra storage up top where we've got some covers, some snap-on covers. Put this back down. I think I already mentioned, but these lights have been changed out. They're upgraded LEDs, and these are upgraded LEDs too. Pretty sure I already mentioned that in the video. Now right here, We've got our electronics bay on the left. So we've got fuses, solenoids, and right there we've got a recently replaced 3000 watt inverter. There's also conveniently a buddy plug here and a cutoff for the house batteries, which were um, put in the coach 
within the last year or so or two years. So fresh batteries. This generator battery was just replaced. So that's a new generator battery just to start the generator. Circulation pump here was replaced. And there's a big nice looking radiator for the generator itself. I'm going to close this bay. This is where our 50 amp power cord goes into the coach. Now you can plug this coach into 50 amp from both sides. You'll see another connection just like this on the other side of the coach. Very satisfying to use. Um, and here in this compartment is where we've got our generator. So that generator is on a slide. It is a 12 kilowatt universal generator. It runs absolutely beautifully. The airbags, it's got four airbags that this generator sits on, have all been replaced. This generator was just serviced, literally within the last month or so. And then all you do is open this up and the whole thing slides out. That, it almost feels like you shouldn't be able to do this, just pull the engine out of the side of the coach, but you can. <laughs> um, it's wild, the engineering that goes into allowing you have a generator slide on a four cylinder, um, 12 kilowatt generator, pretty wild. Um, so as I mentioned, these airbags are all fresh. There is a valve right here so you can shut this air system off so it'll hold pressure in those bags for longer periods of time when you're dry camping. And when you run this generator, it is very, very well insulated when you're on the inside of the coach and very quiet too. That's partially thanks to the airbags and it's also thanks to the very nice condition insulation you've got all around this generator which was redone it's not original now over here you've got your dumps they're all manual dumps you've also got inlet for city water um, pressure and then you could fill the fresh water tank over here too and i quite enjoy with the manual pull valves for the dump tank here and this right here is actually a gray water bypass so you can just have the gray water come out and not fill up your big um, around 150 gallons of holding tank now this holding tank is in excellent condition, which is another big plus on this bus. And uh, right here is where you can hook up local cable and stuff like that. Now the tires look good. We've got on the rears, not the front tires, but the rear tires here have a little extra knob to them. So if you decide to take it on a harvest hose, some kind of field or something like that, you're gonna have a little more grip. Now the paint was completely redone on this coach. That's why it looks absolutely magnificent. It's amazing how this coach looks. The roof was repainted too, so the whole package. The awnings were also all replaced, so we've got fresh, good fabric on all of the window awnings and the patio awning. And I love the fact that the straps and the fabric match this teal stripe color here on the bus. Now this right here is our side radiator which you can open up and easily get to if you choose to do so. And this radiator is fresh. This was a replaced, rebuilt radiator for this coach. So that's something you don't have to worry about. And that's in addition to a lot of other things. We've got a mountain of service records um, on this coach. It was meticulously maintained. All the details were thought of. Things from exhaust pipe being replaced all the way up to the gaskets on the blower being recently replaced, to $12,000 being spent on all new shocks, all new airbags, tie rods, control arms. The coach drives extremely well. This is the best old 8V92 XL bus I have ever driven out of the years of buses we've had. And we didn't have shabby driving Prevo buses before. We had great driving Prevo buses that were this vintage. But this one drives so well because it was all redone underneath. And the engine was taken care of. Here is that amazing Silverside 8V92 Detroit motor that is supercharged or blown, however you like to say it, and turbocharged. It's in excellent condition. You got your big side radiator fan over there on the left. Belts are in excellent shape. They're fresh belt. And a lot of things have been done to this engine that I'm not sitting here listing because I don't remember um, from reading through the hundreds and hundreds of service records over the last 20 years. But I know of a lot of things, um, including a lot of gaskets that were replaced on the blower, control arms for the blower, or the support arms for the blower, and the shop that took care of it wrote detailed notes on everything they did and really knew what they were talking about on this coach. Now up on the left, you've got your coolant reservoir up there. On the right, you've got your oil reservoir 
where you can open this valve and easily top off the coach. The oil is like super clean. I've never seen diesel oil that's been changed and still looks this clean. Normally when you drive these coaches up to like five minutes, you've got black soot in the oil. Fuel filter was replaced here, this big canister. And overall the engine is extremely clean when you actually open it up and look in here. It just looks very good. And look at the access you've got. That's the big benefit of having a Prevo chassis is the access to the engine. I love the original XL uh, latch for the rear uh, compartment here. We've got LED uh, docking lights back here. All the taillights have been changed to LEDs. We've also got an LED center taillight here. Backup camera was changed out and those rear docking lights up top are all LED. Looks quite great on this thing. It's a beautiful bus. Now there is access here, so you can open this up and get to the side of the engine um, in addition to a 24 volt cutoff from the engine and your four starting batteries right there. And look at the side of that engine, it's absolutely insane. One of the things that was done uh, to this Silver 92 was new valve cover gaskets. Big plus to have. When you find a bus that's been maintained like this, it's quite an opportunity to get in one because the maintenance is fantastic and you also have just a solid foundation to start with, a Liberty Coach Prevo bus. Now we've got our tag and dually here. We've got more LED lights on this side of the bus. And right here, we've got our plumbing bay on the passenger side of the bus. There is a water accumulator there. We've got a fresh water pump there. The water heater was replaced, so that's an electric water heater. Currently is disconnected because we've got the coach winterized. You've got the other side for your holding tank. And overall, this compartment is pretty clean. Not rotted out, not rusted out. It looks very good. Now, this right here is the uh, passenger side electrical connection for 50 amp. And then in here, we've got more storage space along with electrical electrical connections on the left and overall just a clean little storage compartment. Now this is pretty sweet. We've got a full entertainment bay, big Roku smart TV, looks to be about a 42 inch or something like that. We've got a whole sound system out here and just overall a nice updated entertainment bay, clean carpeting around it, not perfect, but clean as heck, extra outlets in the back. Just a nice entertainment bay. And I like that these compartments actually have carpeting on the back of them too, which helps with insulating you from noise on the inside of the bus. Now this right here is our full pass-through storage compartment on the front and a classic Liberty addition to the coach, which is this toolbox that's on a slide tray. You just pull out like that and there you go. This is perfect. You even got a breaker bar if you need to take the lugs off and change the tires for some reason or take the wheels off. But I love having the full toolbox on the slide tray and it's quite thoughtful. You gotta have one of these full pass through, lots of storage up top. You got these three drawers, just a clean bay. Overall, a very clean coach. The windows are all in great shape too. I love this generation of bus, a Prevo bus when they gave you real RV windows. I mean, this is right behind the kitchen area. Gives you a great view out of the coach. We've got a big aluminum zip D awning here with replaced fabric. The arms are adjustable so you can slide them up to tilt them in accordance to the sun or if you're just a taller person. Overall though, look at this thing. It's insane. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite magnificent. I mean, just walking around it, looking at the condition of it, you would never guess its age unless you knew about Prevo buses. Just looking at the paint, obviously the paint was redone, but just everything else, the lower compartments, the LED lights, the windows, the tent, the wheels, which by the way, the wheels were replaced. So that's why the wheels look so good on it because they're not originals. They're not 34 years old. So these polished aluminum wheels look great. The whole thing is just, I can't speak enough about how clean this coach is and how well maintained it is. It's not perfect, it is 34 years old, but it's really nice. Let's go ahead and step inside. And by the way, there is a doorbell. 
All right, welcome inside this beautiful time capsule. This coach has so many design elements that remind us of the current day Prevo Liberty coaches. And overall, it's just an extremely well-built and well-taken care of interior. We've got leather absolutely everywhere. So all around these windows, we've got leather wrapped pillars and these classic Liberty Coach accent lights, which at the time weren't classic. This was kind of new or relatively new, but now this kind of accent work around the window arches reminds us of a Liberty Coach. We've also got these beautiful recessed valence lights on both sides of this living room here. And the little pillar that houses that indirect lighting is wrapped in leather, along with all of the walls here um, around these windows are all wrapped in leather. The headliner is all a beautiful leather that's in excellent condition. There are some nice wall lights here. These wall lights are dimmable. The carpet up here is extremely clean, even on the wall. So a lot of times you'll see leaks on the walls under the windows, whether someone left the window open or it actually had a leak. Actually having a leak is kind of rare on one of these buses, but it can happen. But anyways, this carpet is all super duper clean. And one of the things that we do or we offer is we offer the availability of changing this floor out to LVP plank. Um, you can even make it flush with this upgraded floor back here. But this carpet is clean, and there's also this nice plastic rollout mat that lets you come in and out without staining it up. It's in extremely nice condition, even up around the driver's seat, where you'd expect people to just walk in with their shoes and mark it all up. The carpet is clean. It's pretty impressive. Now, the window shades have been replaced in this coach, so they all work very well. You just pull them down. You've got day and night shades. And they neatly tuck away up there. The upholstery has also completely been redone. So this is all brand new matching upholstery. This leather couch was redone. The two front chairs were completely replaced. So the upholstery is quite nice and it gives it an updated feel compared to what it previously had. There's also this little foot kick out here. Um, which you can use as a coffee table. It's, it's interestingly on rollers, and this is original from the factory. It's got the matching Corian countertop. There's storage down below in it, and then it tucks away neatly in here. Now you can make these um, into jackknives. So this couch right here, jackknives, as you can see, voila. Um, and this one is quite wide as it is. It's quite an interesting and very comfortable couch. You can remove this cushion back here so you can give yourself a little more space to make this a sleeping arrangement. And there's also a possibility of building a little platform so this whole thing can connect. And then you've got this massive bed um, in the middle of the coach. So you've also got two deep carpeted drawers here. Now there's a nice little countertop over here, which is a perfect spot for the uh, couch here. And then this Corian countertop piece continues up for this front passenger seat. There's storage down below. Look at those hinges. They're just very well-built hinges. And then across from that, we've got this really cool little storage compartment that's actually a curved cabinet and very deep. Now this uh, cockpit is amazing. We're gonna go through it here uh, before we test drive it. But up front, we've got an upgraded Samsung Smart TV. As you can see, it's connected to our local internet. It's also connected to the auxiliary function for the radio. So you've got these surround sound speakers in the living room area that are connected to this TV. Fantastic. Um, this alarm clock was actually replaced at one point. You've got your satellite receiver in here. You can switch that from local TV. You've got your local antenna here, and you've also got a satellite dish. So if you want to connect satellite, you can. Most people stream. The front of the cockpit is pretty epic. You've got a cruise air unit in the front control for it right there. There's three cruise airs in total on this coat. All of them just do cooling function. And right here, we're now getting into our kitchen area. So to your right, we've got this big, beautiful white quarry and countertop, very sleek, huge sink here with this Kohler faucet with pot cleaner in it. And it's just very well built, nice stuff. There's also a soap dispenser here. We've got a dual burner flat top stove here. And this just allows us to have a lot of countertop space, especially with this addition up here. 
Now up above there is a microwave convection oven here and this was put in in 2016 so this microwave convection oven is only a couple years old and it's a high-end unit. I like that they put this in here because it matches our upgraded stainless steel refrigerator here. You've also got this nifty little cabinet where you've got your hidden paper towel roll with the hole underneath so you can pull it down. Typical Liberty. Um, and then you've got more storage here. All these latches are built out of stainless steel and just work with a excellence. Now, the cabinets are something I wanna talk about because all of the cabinets in here are in very, very nice condition. They're not banged up, they're not scraped up, um, they've just been well looked after. There's a couple little nitpick flaws which I'll point out here shortly, but the cabinets are all in just very nice shape and these stainless latches just work brilliantly. They feel brand new, they don't feel like they've aged at all. They just click into place with ease. I, I absolutely love those. There's also a ton of storage down below with those really overbuilt smooth hinges. And see, this is where you've got like a minor little trim piece missing that matches, but you don't see that. You just see it when you open up the cabinet. Bunch of storage down below. And look, even more. I feel like this old Liberty has more storage space than the newer Liberties. Um, that's just my opinion. I haven't actually measured but just from looking through this coach, this coach has so much storage, it's crazy. And then you've even got storage underneath here. You can actually use these very deep drawers to store things under your dinette. Now this is a big Corian countertop dinette. There's a tiny little hair crack right here, but the countertop is overall in very nice condition. We've got our original wiring diagram from Liberty Coach, and we've got a mountain of service records. Look at this. Now that is some service records. And in these service records includes, relatively recently, the airbags being replaced, the suspension all being replaced, the control arm, struts. This thing drives incredibly. I can't wait to show you guys how it drives, but there's a plethora of receipts in here of all sorts of things, fixing oil leaks, like the oil gasket, the gaskets on the supercharger were changed out, the support arms for the supercharger uh, were changed out. Many things were done to constantly keep this coach as close to that knife's edge as possible. Does that mean it's perfect? No, it's a 1990. Does it mean it's very nice and better maintained than a lot of other rigs that are decades newer? Yes, that's what it means. Anyways, got a nice little light up here that's dimmable. Um, we've got more storage compartments up above here and this big classic old school window Back in the day when these Prevos actually had RV windows. So this window will slide open, um, just like a classic typical RV. And you close it and shut it right there. And it just gives you great views out of the coach. It's quite nice. You also have the same type of window behind the kitchen countertop, which is very modern actually. A lot of modern production coaches, like 2023s and stuff, have started in 2024s have started to copy that over the last couple of years anyways. Started to copy this design of putting you a big window behind the kitchen countertop, but this bus has it in 1990. Now, a lot of these lights have been upgraded to LEDs. There are floor lights down below here to light up your pathway at night. And all of these lights up above are LEDs, very bright. Let me let you take a peek now that you're on the right side of this upgraded refrigerator. This was recently put in. quite nice. There's storage up above and there's actually an ice maker across from the fridge here, which is quite a nice plus, very tasteful. And then here's our control center where we've got our main breakers. We've got the new inverter control here. We've got the transfer switch control here so you can select shore generator or inverter power. Then you've got your central or center cruise air control. And then you've got all the breakers for outlets, the electric cooktop, um, all that stuff. The chargers for the batteries, all that stuff you can control from right here. And look at that invert original plaque from Liberty Coach. They haven't changed that either. This thing is just a, a legend. Now here is a bunch of pantry space with adjustable shelves inside. Very clean, just sleek cabinet colors. 
feels almost like a private jet. More storage down there. I'm telling you, this coach feels like it has more storage than a lot of newer Prevos and Liberties, especially. I can't believe it. It's, it's kind of wild. Now, right here, we do have a pocket door with these excellent um, latches that actually latch and stay. So, as you can see, this is properly latched. And just a nice pocket door. There's also a mirror on this side of the pocket door. Now, let's step into the bathroom. You see more of this flooring now. This flooring was changed out from the kitchen all the way back here. It's a new vinyl plank flooring. The wallpaper was also upgraded on this coach. It looks much more modern and fresh. And then we've got an upgraded, replaced Tecma push button toilet. And then up above, we've got an upgraded, changed out, and fantastic fan. Another storage back here. Adjustable shelves again. And uh, here's our shower. This is a sizable shower. As you can see, I'm 5'11 standing in here right now. Plenty of space all around me. I can get all the way back in here. A little rack right there. The woodwork and the trim all around here, which typically gets kind of uh, messed up due to the water, is beautiful. It looks awesome. Now this light doesn't work. I haven't tried to put bulbs in it. It could be a bad switch whatever. There's a lot of light from the rest of this interior in the bathroom. But anyways, we've got our shower here, faucet, adjustable shower head. We've got tempered glass uh, enclosure here. Just a beautiful shower. Nice, clean shower too. Like if you look at the drain, there's not any built up gunk or just grossness that sometimes you see when people can't maintain these properly. This coach was maintained very properly. Now right here is a bunch of storage. Look at this huge wardrobe we've got an extra parts bin here and then we've got the rest of the original manuals from Prevo coach in that box so all the original manuals from Liberty coach and Prevo are intact and go with the bus along with a mountain of service records now right here is our sink we've got a beautiful white Corian sink I love the stonework in this coach I love the colors in it we've got nice little uh Vanity set up with three mirrors here, big bright bulbs, just a very nice looking faucet. This interior light has also been upgraded to LED. It's an automatic light that comes on for this big cavernous uh, storage area here with a matching carpet down there on the bottom. Click that into place. And the headliner, even in the shower area, is very clean. This leather headliner looks really nice. There's not a single area on this headliner I've seen that has any flaws. Absolutely stunning. Now, welcome to the bedroom. Um, we've got ourselves a, a queen-size bed. It almost looks like an Olympic queen. And there's a lot of walk-around space, which is a huge plus to me, especially when you have this north-south setup. Because when you're traveling, and obviously this whole coach, as you've seen it, is all the time. There's no slides. So this is your space, which is quite beautiful. You just pull over on the road, and it's designed to not have to open anything up. But there's a lot of walk-around space on both sides of this bed. The tight point is right there, which is not bad. But once you get over here, oh my gosh, you can get up. You can look out these huge, magnificent RV windows. Um, with day and night shades which were replaced and then check out this curtain so it's got blackout curtains on both sides so it gets dark in here especially if you close both this and the curtain but watch pulling one side of the curtain does the other side automatically it's uh, just a cool piece of engineering for blackout curtains and this fabric was replaced so this is a new fabric it looks great it goes with the wallpaper this coach was professionally upgraded now there are storage drawers on both sides of the bed here very deep storage drawers there are big countertops on each side there's also outlets on each side and each side has its own wardrobe with automatic lighting big amount of space back there now there are recessed valence lights right above this um, or each window here so they give you a nice amount of indirect lighting in here, which is beautiful. Um, and then across uh, the bed, at the foot of the bed, we've got four 
um, five actually big storage drawers, or pretty good size anyways, for what this coach is. Because in addition to those four, you've got these two storage compartments here. Adjustable shelves all throughout. We've got an upgraded TV here, it's a Vizio. And then across here, there's another little wardrobe. Automatic light comes on, you got a little rack up here, and then you've got your little uh, removable pole where you can hang all your clothes on. So very nice setup in here. I like the little individual reading lights on the head of the bed. Um, you can point them in whatever direction you need. There's a cruise air control right at the headboard too, which I quite like. That little storage area is nice. And then you can turn the generator off from right here if you need to. You can just kill it. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, this is a very comfortable, very just relaxing bedroom to be in. The windows, just the curtains, the storage, lighting. And it's just a great bedroom. A lot of space in here too. And the headliner is awesome. When you look up and see those indirect lights just casting light in here, it's uh, quite unique. It's quite special. Okay, so that's the bedroom here. As you've seen as we walk through, there's storage everywhere. You've got a sizable bathroom. But there's all kinds of nice upgrades, um, not only cosmetic, but fundamental, such as the microwave convection, the refrigerator, the toilet, so many things. And then also the overall condition of this interior. It's not banged up. It's been very well maintained, and it's absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cockpit, and then we're going to go get this on the road and test it. So the driver's seat has this cabinet work that's built around it. It's got storage, and it also just kind of sets apart the cockpit from the rest of the coach here. This is a new driver's seat. Got a nice cup holder and storage compartment there. Classic big old Prevost steering wheel, which is so fun to uh, throw around while you're maneuvering the bus. Let's go ahead and sit down here. We've got all our typical gauges that you'll find on a bus. Over to the left, we've got our high idle switch. We've got all the outside LED light controls here. Now this right here is where we've got our Allison transmission control. We've got a dual stage Jake brake over there. Mirror heat, cruise control, CB radio down below leveling for the coach and the leveling works great cruise works great exhaust brake works great transmission shifts like butter as you'll see here in a minute we've got our tag dump back here as well as our emergency brake this window will slide so we've got one horn located down here <laughs> and then we've got our second additional horn located on this fantastic to operate rope up here now, while we're up here looking, we do have our front cruise air control right there. We've got our spotlight control, which does work great. And then over here, we've got our gauges for our 120 line and our house battery voltage. So we've got two 120 lines here. As you can see, we're plugged into shore power. I love the backlighting on all this stuff, including the little Liberty coach insignia. Voltage on the battery is charging. Um, generator batteries charging and then this is a generator coolant temp now over to the right we've got our backup camera which was upgraded this was a new changed out screen here you've got a USB control you've got an Alpine Bluetooth radio head unit here you've got the button for your airlock on the door this is the fan system this is the uh, for the front dash air Headlight control, fog light, marker lights, hazard. We've got our control for the step. We also have our Garmin unit up there. Don't know what age is on that Garmin. And uh, yeah, overall this is a really nice cockpit. It's quite nicely laid out. And the best part about it is the coach drives like an absolute dream. Now let's look at the cockpit area for the passenger. So first of all, this leather up here is in excellent condition. Um, and so is the step well. Step well is super clean. But this chair was also replaced. This is a nice, big, comfortable chair. We've got a cup holder to the right, cup holder built into the door, storage compartment on the right. 
and all that good stuff. And then the controls for our outside under lights are located right here. Click that button. And voila, there's the outside under lights. All right, we're getting on the highway now in this 1990 Prevo Liberty coach. And so far, all three of us are very impressed. I've actually got my granddad in the coach with me right now. So he's gonna give us an opinion on what he thinks the passenger ride quality is like. But so far, all three of us are very impressed. And now that I'm on the highway, I'm starting to feel a lot more excited because the thing just feels so good. It's so nice. The steering is perfectly smooth. It doesn't wander at all. This is an incredible driving experience thus far. The highway has taken it to a different level to me. I mean, I was feeling it. It felt pretty good. It felt tight. And that's a big thing. You know, a lot of coaches, they've got worn out suspension components. When you go over bumps and stuff, you can feel all the play up there, but not in this coach. Not with the completely rebuilt suspension system, new airbags, and it's riding on a Prevo shell. So it's about the stiffest shell you can possibly get. It is quite impressive. Okay, so I just engaged the exhaust brake and it does help you slow down in the coach. It's not as strong as like a big 600 horsepower exhaust brake, but it actually does sound pretty good back there. You're kind of insulated in this coach and I'm gonna test it out some more here in a second, but you do have a high and low and it's actually, you just have to engage it. You click the button over here and it starts engaging and downshifting. The brakes feel terrific too. All the brakes were redone in 2015. So when you stop, when you hit the brakes and you come to a stop, it's easy to come to a smooth stop. When you hit the brakes, it stays dead straight. It doesn't pull you one way or the other. It's just a great riding bus. And because it's the XL bus, we have an airlock via this push button here. That's just a minor thing that's very satisfying. They spent, a lot of money was spent on this engine too. They replaced all kinds of oil gaskets on the blower, um, the support arms for the blower. I mean, in those records, they took it to one reputable diesel shop for the entire uh, 20 years that they owned it. This is only a two owner coach and they did everything that was recommended. And I've read through all of the mechanic notes in the records and it seems uh, from what I can tell as a RV dealer, they knew what they were talking about because as a dealer, you've got to find people to work on these coaches and you've got to figure out who's trustworthy and actually knows what they're talking about. But anyways, the shop who took care of this coach really knew their stuff and that engine, that AB92 is in tip top shape. The, the whole bus is really. We're doing about 65 miles an hour. Let me creep up. There's 65. Let me test the cruise control here. There's cruise control. Beautiful. I don't want to get off the highway right now. I want to keep going. This is going to suck to get off the highway. I just love how this thing drives. Oh my gosh. It's so relaxing. That's the thing. When you get one of these Prevo buses or just a bus that rides really nice and is easy to drive, it's much less fatiguing. When you get off the road, you're, you're not as stressed out. You're not as worn out from bouncing in the lane all day. It's just much more relaxing and enjoyable of an experience. It's much more of an enthusiast experience. Okay, now we're engaging high on the Jacobs brake. I'm actually using the physical brakes here to cut my speed a little bit. And then now this is all exhaust brake. So it's slowing us down. As I mentioned, it's not the strongest, but it is a high and low and it's a, a pretty significant help um, the thing is about these buses, the Prevo bus is very, very heavy. So even if you have a strong exhaust brake, it's not gonna, it may not seem like it's gonna jolt you forward in the seat. You know, it's, it's, it's stopping a lot of weight, but it's definitely gonna save your brakes, even though these brakes were just replaced, um, along with the suspension, the airbags, and, and many other things in the bus. Um, but overall, like this driving experience is top notch. I've driven much newer uh, Prevo buses, not even just re any rig. I've driven much newer Prevo buses that did not handle like this bus. And more importantly than all of the suspension, all of the brakes, none of them had this either. <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, and one other thing about the XL bus, 
um, compared to the H3 or a typical H3, you've got a little less sway because the center of gravity is lower. Now there's all kinds of different pros and cons and you've got to figure out what kind of bus you want for your needs when you're kind of trying to decide between an XL and an H3, but we quite like um, XLs because of the lower center of gravity and there's a lot of others who concur with that. But like I said, you know, different pros and cons, H3 and XL. The power is fantastic too on this thing. Minimal rattles in the coach. And when you get on that power, the blower and turbo work beautifully together. The transmission shifts perfectly. Um, yeah, you would not know. This is, if you drove every single brand new 2024 coach and then someone handed you this to go drive, first of all, you wouldn't know its age. And then second of all, it would drive better than 99% of those 2024 coaches. <laughs> That's the reason people value older buses differently. This thing will hold its value better than a lot of other rigs out there. Anyways, I've blabbed a lot, so I don't know if Mike has any other final inputs that he would put in. Yeah, but. I tell you, for a 1990 model, this is unbelievable. This is not your your normal production coach out of Indiana. There's virtually no rattles, and we're on secondary streets right now, and the ride is comfortable, you're not getting any Body, body lean, basically. I mean, the transmission shifts smoothly. Just hard to believe that it's a, it's actually a 1990 version bus. I mean, but this is a commercial bus chassis, not, not you know, just a typical truck chassis like you're, you're facing now with the later models. But the visibility is excellent going down the road. I mean, if you look around, the, the view out of the windows is outstanding. It makes a ride for the passengers just like a carnival ride almost it's just like sitting in your living room going down the road but no i love it I, it's my first trip in a prevo bus and uh and i've been i've owned motorhomes for 14 years now but this is really different in, in a good sort of way so i can't say enough about it i'm very impressed well with that we had a lot of fun recording this video. This is a very interesting, rare coach. You really can't go walk into a store and buy one of these. You've got to go out and find one. And here's one right here available. The maintenance records, the condition, what it is in the first place, a Liberty coach. It's quite incredible. So with that, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one and peace and love.